chat, I kind of want to stream a James Bond game again. Like Nightfire. Would anyone be down for that? Rogue Agent? No, no. Vinny, I was going to send you a copy of Nightfire a few years ago. Well, that's a- there's a PC version of Nightfire, right? Or is it- is it... bad? It's bad? Oh, okay. Vinny, I think you would love everything or nothing. Well, again, I've been watching that Calvin dude's channel a lot lately, for some reason, and like... I'm like, oh man, I- I fucking... I really like that Nightfire game. Gearbox software port of a different engine and missing levels. Ugh. <sighs> World is not enough on N64 is pretty good. I streamed the early cut levels of that recently, and that was fun. Have you tried Agent Under Fire? I believe I had it. I'm fucking pissed because I think I sold Nightfire, though. My legit copy. The Heat Seeker missiles. I don't remember those, but I do remember there's a- was- was there a helicopter level in Nightfire, or is that Agent Under Fire? First level. The PC port of Nightfire is the Half-Life engine. That's weird. Nightfire is honestly my favorite Bond game. Oh, and multiplayer shit. Yeah, multiplayer and Nightfire was really good. Yo, that's a good treasure chest. I, I thought that was the best Bond multiplayer since Goldeneye. Everything or nothing is great. Well, that and From Russia with Love actually has Connery back. It's weird, I like the games more than I like a lot of the movies. But I haven't seen all of the movies, so I don't know. I mean... Oh, God! One of the Bond movies has Mr. Bean. Rowan Atkinson? W which one? Was it a Roger Moore movie? It was probably Roger Moore, wasn't it? Or Johnny English. Oh yeah, he played it like it was a spoof James Bond. There was also a spoof James Bond movie with Leslie Nielsen. Never Say Never Again. How about Never Watch That Movie Again? That was the unlicensed Bond movie from the 80s that Connery came back to. There was a spoof James Bond movie with Mike Myers. Huh? Wait, Wayne's World? Austin's Power? Who's... Who? Spy Hard? Oh, I remember that. They had to have made Austin Powers trading cards, chat. You know what else had a good spy... Um... Parody? Spy game parody? Time Splitters. Even though that level could eat a dick. The one in Time Splitters 2. But yeah, No One Lives Forever is the, the quintessential spy parody game. How many James Bond movies have had the word die in the title? Like, there's one coming out called No Time to Die. There was Die Another Day. You only live twice. Well, hang on, that's not the word die. Live and Let Die, which is the best James Bond theme, along with You Only Live Twice, in my opinion. Tomorrow Never Dies on Her Majesty's Secret Die. Wait a minute. James Bond straight up fucking dies? Yeah, that was a good movie. Golden Die? Alright. I don't like this bit anymore. So yeah, there's a, a couple. Die another day. It's a couple. Die pussy? No, that was octopussy. I still can't believe, like, I have to explain that that's real and not me making up a word. Like, I still can't believe that that's a real fucking movie name. 